Oh my man, Dave Ramsey. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. Um, if you don't uh, haven't listened to his show, he has one of the most popular radio shows in the United States. It's about finance. He is very, very well known, and I respect him a lot. He has a very, very tough job. His job is to give advice to people so that it makes as much sense as possible to millions of people, right? And the reason I respect that so much is because my job is almost the exact opposite, okay? As a financial planner helping federal employees retire, my job is to help individual clients often. Obviously here on the YouTube channel, on the podcast, it's more broad, but still it's specifically for you as federal employees, so still a little more specific, right? But when working with clients, my job is, okay, how does this rule apply to you specifically, right? And so it's easy to dig down into someone's specific situation, but to give advice that applies to everyone, ooh, that's hard, because there's so many nuances. And say we're gonna talk about some of the advice I have read and heard Dave Ramsey give about the TSP specifically, and a lot of it is rock solid, but there's a couple things, a number of things that I've read that like, oh, you know, that's probably not the best thing to do as federal employees. So we're gonna jump right in, number one. So there's three big things, three big points that um, Dave Ramsey has talked about or given advice on about the TSP, which I think are not always the best advice. No, number one. Dave Ramsey loves a Roth IRA, he loves it. So whenever he gives advice on where to put money, he often tells people to go to the Roth side. And so when talking about the traditional TSP and the Roth TSP, he often advises people, hey, go to the Roth TSP basically all the time. And honestly, for a lot, a lot of federal employees, using the Roth TSP is incredible. And I think Dave Ramsey has a really good point where emotionally, it is way easier, way easier to pay taxes. Let's say, okay, let me give a little background here. So if you put money into the traditional TSP, you know what happens. You get a tax deduction that year, right? But in retirement, anything that you put into the traditional TSP and anything that money grew to, you have to pay taxes on when it comes out, okay? On the Roth TSP, it's exactly the opposite. When you put the money in, that's when you pay taxes. When you take it out, it's completely tax-free, completely, okay? assuming you keep all the rules. So emotionally, I can see how Dave Ramsey has a great point. So when you just pay taxes um, slowly, let's say every paycheck, right, or every year, putting money into the Roth TSP, it's emotionally, you kind of get used to it, right? It's emotionally easy to handle. But in retirement, let's say you have half a million dollars in retirement, well, to know that you gotta pay taxes on that entire thing when you take it out, that's emotionally kind of hard to take, right? If it's all in the traditional TSP. And so Dave Ramsey's point is, hey, just get into the Roth TSP, pay it now, don't worry about it later. And I get that. And honestly, for many people, that makes a ton of sense, a ton of sense. Now, there's nuances though. And, you, and I think it's so important whenever you listen to, whether it's my advice, um, whether it's Dave Ramsey's advice, whoever's advice, you have to remember that's not scripture that you have to look at your situation and say okay what does that mean for me right and when it comes to the Roth TSP specifically I have talked to tons and tons and tons of federal employees where they should not be investing in the Roth TSP it just doesn't make any sense where during their during their you know at the point of their career they were in they were making a lot of money or relatively a lot of money compared to what they're going to be making in retirement so yeah, they could be using the Roth TSP now. They're just gonna have to pay way more in taxes now than they would later. So overall, they'd be saving money to wait, to wait and maybe do some Roth conversions, maybe do other things later in retirement to get some money over to the Roth side. You just wanna do it in a smart way. You don't wanna do it at all costs, right? Because sometimes the cost can make a big, big difference. All right, number two. And Dave Ramsey, he often talks about how much money you should be putting in different buckets. So. His go-to is 15%, that you should be saving at least 15% for retirement before thinking about doing extra things like, let's say, paying down your mortgage and stuff like that. Again, that's his advice. So, his advice when it comes to where you should put the money is he says, hey, the first 5% you should be putting into the TSP to get your full agency's match, your full match. And then, once you do that 5%, you should then go to a Roth IRA until you max that out. And then if you have any money left over to save, then you wanna go back to the TSP and save as much as you can there later. Now, 
honestly, again, I, I understand where he's coming from because honestly, for most 401ks or employer sponsored plans that people can get to through their jobs, most 401ks or many 401ks have higher fees and the investment options are just eh, mediocre, mediocre, okay? So for non-federal employees, this probably makes a ton of sense. It's, hey, yeah, get your agency's match, but then go save somewhere else where you have more control like a Roth IRA. But because the Roth TSP or the traditional TSP, both the TSP in general, it's got low fees, it's got high quality funds, and it's super, super simple. So honestly, while you're working, I don't see a big advantage to a Roth IRA. I really don't, right? And honestly, it's worth quite a bit to just have the simplicity of having just one place to go, one place to go see your investments, one place to pick investments, one place to, to manage and monitor over time to keep your life and financial life as simple and easy to manage as possible. Because when there's so many details and so many things to check, often things slip through the cracks. So in my opinion, there's no reason to go to a IRA, a traditional IRA or Roth IRA, really until your TSP is maxed out. Now, there's one nuance here. If you want to get the a Roth IRA started for the five-year rule, I have another video, a couple of videos on that, or you can Google Roth IRA five-year rule. Um, you, you can get one started, but honestly, outside of that, I, I think, hey, keep it simple. The TSP while you're working is a great option. Now, while you're retired, um, an IRA does have some advantages, right? Um, but again, you could always move over to an IRA in retirement. Honestly, my opinion, right, there's there's some preference here too, is enjoy the simplicity and the high quality nature of the TSP while you're working. Enjoy it, max that thing out. If you have extra money, okay, great. Why not go to an IRA? But there's some nuances with an IRA. If you make too much money, you can no longer put money into a Roth IRA. And if you make too much money, you can no longer do, deduct money in the traditional IRA. So it gets complicated. In the TSP, it's simple. It's simple, right? So that's why in my opinion, hey, use the TSP as much as you possibly can while you're working. There's great advantages to doing so. And then in retirement, if you wanna look at an IRA, do so then. All right, number three piece of advice that Dave Ramsey has is the investment allocation that he recommends in the TSP or which funds he recommends to invest in. So his recommendation across the board is 60% in the C fund, 20% in the S fund, and then 20% in the I fund. So aggressive, as you know, the C fund, the S fund, and the I fund, those three funds that he recommends, those are all aggressive funds. Those are the three aggressive funds, and the G and the F are the conservative ones, right? So, and this is Dave Ramsey's opinion. He says, hey, even let's say when you're 25 or when you're 65, you should be investing that way because over time, it's going to perform better. And even at 65, odds are if you live to 65, you're going to live um, you know, a few more decades, a couple more decades, right? And so you want to get the, those high rate returns over time. Now, there is um, some moderation, I think, that needs to come into play here because he is right, over time, that is the case. And if you have a lot of wiggle room in your plan, let's say you have more money than you ever plan on really spending in retirement. Maybe you're planning to give a big chunk to your kids, maybe to charity. If that's the case, then yeah, maybe it does make sense to go full throttle all the way, right? Um, but if that's not you, if, if um, you don't have a ton of margin in your retirement numbers, then you're probably gonna to wanna to take a more moderate approach once you reach retirement. Now, when you're young in your career, you got lots of time before you even need to start spending that money. Hey, yeah, be aggressive, go full throttle, do it, right? But as you approach retirement, you don't wanna to be too conservative, but you certainly don't wanna to be too aggressive because you want to invest your short-term money, the things you need in the short term, you wanna invest those conservatively, right? Because for example, let's say you were planning to Maybe you're just still working. Maybe you're 30, 40, it doesn't matter. Think about this example. If you're planning to buy a house in two years, three years, let's say, and you're saving money for a down payment or whatever it is, let's say you're saving, let's say you got 100 grand saved, okay? Where do you put that money? Do you put it in the stock market, right? If you're gonna need that in two to three years? Well, no, because what if you, when you needed it in two to three years, the market was down and it was only worth, 60 grand or 80 grand, That's you don't wanna do that. And the same thing applies to retirement where the short-term money, the money you need in the near future needs to be safe so that you don't have to worry about it losing value when you need it. But of course, money you don't need for a while to the mid to long-term, yeah, you wanna be aggressive. You want to be investing in a way 
that will earn you money over time. And so honestly, I think Dave Ramsey has a lot of things right because investing a little more aggressively than you potentially should is probably an easier problem to deal with than investing too conservatively. Because if you invest too conservatively, over time your buying power is just gonna get depleted and killed by inflation and you don't want that. That's probably a harder issue to deal with than being too aggressive. But again, moderation in all things to find a situation that makes sense for you. And honestly, I have a number of videos on how you should structure this when it comes to the different buckets of money, how much money you should be putting where in your retirement. I'll put a link below so you can check that out if you wanna learn about, okay, how do I invest in retirement, right? If I shouldn't be too aggressive or too conservative, well, how should I? Well, definitely check that out. There's great information in there on how you should be investing your TSP in retirement. So if there's any other advice you've heard from Dave Ramsey or anyone else about the TSP or about investing that maybe it helped you a ton or maybe not so much, please put in the comments below, share with the community so we can all learn and improve and get better. So have a great rest of your day. We'll talk soon.